So for this very first page, I was starting to play around with gouache and was really feeling inspired by some kind of whimsical landscapes that have some patterning in the grass and different areas um, kind of leading into the background. This next page was a another illustration in gouache that I just did of this girl. I think I'm just still kind of trying to figure out how I want to do portraits in my style but I ended up doing a lot of gouache in this watercolor sketchbook. This was another kind of landscape that I did from my honeymoon in Costa Rica, just feeling very tropical, but again, kind of was getting a little bit more realism style than I necessarily wanted to. Here I am playing around with some florals and florals is definitely something I want to get better at as well trying to figure out my style in florals. This is another just little tropical sketch. Nothing too impressive here. <laughs> kind of playing around with some tropical leaves and then getting into some fall or autumn motifs with the squash and um, kind of these squash flowers that bloom off of the squash plants. Just feeling kind of those orange and black vibes. <laughs> Here I was playing around with some more tropical plants, again just feeling um, really inspired by this lavender and green color combination. And this was actually for a YouTube video where I was demonstrating the difference in different paints. And so I think this one I believe was gouache. Let me see. The, yeah, that one was gouache. This was watercolor. You can kind of see the difference between how flat and graphic this looks and the watercolor. You just really get a lot more of that watery fluid texture. And then the third one was in actual acrylic paint, like the Liquitex basic paints. So it's a bit thicker. I don't really recommend this for working in a sketchbook. Sometimes it gets a little sticky. But I skipped a page, so let me go back. So this one was actually in watercolor. Again, just playing around with florals, playing around with color. And here's a floral bouquet also in watercolor. I really don't like this, but again, just trying to figure out kind of my style in florals. More florals. I'm a surface pattern designer and textile designer for those of you who aren't familiar with me. So you will see kind of a lot of playing around with some pattern ideas in this sketchbook. Then for some reason, I decided to try to do oil pastels in a watercolor sketchbook. Do not ask me why. I don't like the way it turned out. Don't really recommend it. I mean, it's better for loose paper. You can see how like the medium just started clumping and kind of the pages got stuck on each other. So don't recommend that. Playing around with some abstract patterns and gouache here. So those turned out kind of fun but it's a little bit different than my typical style, I would say. This was a landscape study. Landscapes are also something I'm trying to improve upon. Then we get into some fun pieces where this was when I actually traveled to Egypt. So I painted the pyramids from life. So that was really fun. Can't believe I did that. It makes the sketchbook pretty special. There's the Sphinx painted from life. This was Filet Temple. I wish I had had more time to sit and paint, but I felt like everyone was waiting on me, so 
It was Abu Simbel. Again, didn't get a lot of detail in that first piece and wish I had more time to finish it from life. I always said I was gonna finish it from photographs, but never did so far anyway. This was also in Egypt. This was part of kind of the landscape and scenery when we were driving in the car. So I'm so happy that I was able to capture some of that. And then this was just some diamond pattern I was kind of feeling inspired by. Then this was in Dahab. So this was our trip to the beach on the Sinai Peninsula. So it's still part of Egypt, but it's very beach area, very friendly to tourists. And it's not quite as conservative <laughs> as Cairo is. So painted that from life as well. And that's watercolor and it's watercolor and ink. This was done outside of a coffee shop here in Atlanta. So just really fun feeling kind of those fall leaves. Watercolor. I was feeling really inspired by some of these coastal trends that are popping up as well. So I actually did this on my lunch break, but this is also watercolor. Then I hate this page, but I was sketching from life and trying to draw some other people that were eating, but then still doing my um, kind of coastal trend as well. Feeling um, these kind of tropical vibes again, seeing how I can push it. And then this is in gouache, but again, these, this is sort of building on that coastal trend and motifs. Sometimes I'll scan these and then just arrange them in Photoshop. So I still have that hand painted look, but I kind of want to play with the composition and whatnot actually in Photoshop. So yeah, I'm, I haven't done that yet, but I'm excited to build some patterns from these motifs. And then the very last one also done in gouache, but are these sand dollars. So yeah, I'm excited to build out that collection. I need to scan these. And that is it. There's a fun little pocket here for those of you who might be interested in buying this sketchbook. There's my postcard. 